you're back on tomorrow Cause you forgot yesterday I gave you my love to borrow And you just gave it away So after waking up this morning, I was thinking maybe I could have Nana control my day. You know, I ask her questions like, should I do this or should I do that? And she basically just controls my day. This could go really smoothly or really bad, but you have to watch to the end to see how it went. Oh, and yes, I did sleep on the couch because my room is currently being remodeled. So I went to Nana's room and catched her playing with some slime. I explained to her that she'd control my day and I'd ask her a series of questions. And the first question was, should I do yoga or stay inside and be lazy? Nana's answer was do some yoga. So I went over to my yoga mat and started to do a couple moves so just my body would like start functioning, you know. After my first task of the day, I went back to Nana asking her, should I eat a healthy breakfast or eat something like junk food for breakfast? And of course, Nana chose junk food. I went over to the kitchen and grabbed this pack of candy, and that was my crazy morning. Follow for more. Hi, Joes. Welcome to our night routine with just the girls. Isaiah is staying over at a friend's house today, so I didn't include him. Anyways, around 6 p.m., the girls are just playing around, and I'm washing the dishes. Once I finished those dishes, I turned off the water, put the sponge back in the sink, and went downstairs. I went to my desk because that's where I left my phone last and ordered some pizza. Yes, there were less people to feed, but I just thought it would be easier. The pizza place I ordered from has a really fast delivery, so I heard my doorbell ring after 10 minutes. I opened the door and grabbed my pizza and tipped him on the app. Me and Nana both sat down to eat our pizza while I sit at her baby food. When finishing my pizza, I just fed Isis, and if you could tell in the first clip, she was sitting up much better. Once we were done eating, I placed the dishes in the sink, and we got into our PJs. If you want to see our shower routine, you can scroll down my page. It got a little late, but usually after our showers, the kids fall asleep anyway. I was still up though, tidying up the house. I picked up a couple of Nana's fidgets that she didn't clean up before dinner, and placed those on the box they came in on the couch. After cleaning up the house, I went to sleep by angels. Hi everyone, it's Hallie. So this is an updated morning routine, pregnant edition. So because of my pregnancy, I was feeling really sick this morning, so Chase got up and made us all some crepes. He poured two cups of tea and two glasses of milk. And then because of how amazing he is, he knew I wasn't feeling well, so he put it all on a tray and gave me breakfast in bed. He woke me up, handed me the tray, and I sat and ate it. They were so, so good, and they're definitely a new craving. After that, he headed upstairs and woke up the kids then took them to the dining table to eat breakfast. I was still in bed because I was definitely feeling a bit funny this morning. But the kids also love the crepes so we're definitely going to be having this more. They both got dressed and then Chase brought them into my bedroom. They came and cuddled with me for a little bit before me and Chase got dressed. This was an amazing morning for me but I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you will have an amazing day. Hi everyone, it's Hallie. So today I'm packing the kids lunches. I started with bottles of water, two chocolate covered bananas that I made the night before, sliced watermelon and apples, and then finally the sandwich. What do you guys have in your lunch? Hi everyone, it's Hallie. So today we all decided to go to the Sea Life Aquarium. 
we started by donating some money and then feeding the fish. And there was some sort of disco, I guess. It was quite interesting, but then we got to go back and see an animal get saved, which was really nice. We spent the rest of the day just looking at all the animals before I bought the kids some Hey guys! So today the kids and I decided to clean up the car a bit because I'm getting a new one. For farm work and stuff, I'm keeping the pickup, but I'm getting another one. And actually in a couple days, you guys will find out why I got a new car. Anyways, I met up with a dealer at the dealership. She was so sweet. I signed off on the car and then she handed me an envelope with all the keys and information. Let me know if you can guess what the surprise is. I may reveal it tomorrow. Bye! So today I'm going to be doing a house tour, but this whole house, like, was Flynn that took his idea. Like, full credit to him. This is literally his house. I just copied it. Credit goes to him, okay? Like, go follow him. He's, he's such a good creator. Anyways, it's modern mansion, so let's go in. So this is the front porch area, letterbox, all that. You come in, you have a cute little area here. Then you have the laundry room. Over here is just a little cookbook thing. And we have the hall. And in here is the dining room. You just have a little cute area for board games and stuff like that. This is the kitchen. It's very chaotic, but I love it. And then this is Harvey's room. I might actually change the names of them. I don't really like them, but Harvey for now. And then this is Haley's room. I might change her name as well. But this is her room. And let's go upstairs. This is just a plain little bit here. Nothing much. I might add some spice to it, but for now it was just that. And this is the outside area. I did actually have to do this myself because I don't have the tents. But I don't really like it, so I might change that as well. But over here, we just have the towels and the goggles for the kids going in the pool. And we just have some plants and stuff like that. This is the living room area. I have a cute little TV, some films. Nice. And then this is like a fireplace area. This is the bathroom area. We got some makeup and stuff like that. This is the study. Basically Josh's study, but yeah. And then this is our room. I love it. I still need to add some stuff to the shelves, but apart from that, it is so nice. Make sure to go follow Flynn.toka. Um, he is such a good creator and builder. Um, follow him. He's like the best. Bye, sunnies.
Hi everyone, it's Hallie. Today we're going for our first baby scan, so my parents came over to watch the kids and they are very excited to meet their new sibling. But we arrived at the hospital and we did the scan. Me and Chase got to see our baby for the first time and we were really excited about it. The doctor ran some tests and everything was healthy. And before he left, he gave us the scan. But I think my bump is starting to show. The Outer Banks, paradise on earth, and that's me, John Booker Rutledge, and this is where I live. It's the sort of place where you either have two jobs or two houses, two tribes, one island. That's my crew. We're the working class who make a living busing tables, running charters, and our mission this summer is to have a good time all the time. Hey guys, so I got a knock at my door. So I went to go open my door and it was Tom. I know his name now. So I let him in and then we sat down in the living room. He said he's going to the skate park and he thought the girls might want to come. So I shouted their names and they came running in. And then we left to go to the activity house, which has the skate park. Once we arrived, I took the girls' hair clips out and put on their helmets for safety. Nora got this watermelon skateboard and she went down this yellow ramp. We were super proud. And Harlow got this cloud scooter. Then me and Tom decided to go on the same skateboard down a scary ramp. And the girls were cheering us on. And then they took their helmets off and we went to sit down. But Nora was begging me to go on the arcade game. So Tom went to do it with her and she pressed the button. And then they were so happy that they won so they were jumping around. Bye guys! Hey guys, so I woke up and I put on my glasses and then went to my gym room and got a gym outfit and my water bottle. I obviously put it on and grabbed my phone and then I filled up my water bottle and got a breakfast burrito. And then I left to go for my run. First I ate my burrito and then I played some music and drank some water, stay hydrated. And then I went across the bridge and I accidentally dropped my phone but I didn't realise. So someone picked it up and gave it to me. I was so surprised that I dropped it and I was so happy that I got it back. We started talking and I got his number and then I said I had to go and I went back home. Once I got in, I sat down with my phone and started texting him. What should I do? Bye! Hi everyone, it's Hallie. So I woke up in the middle of the night feeling really sick so I headed straight to the bathroom and then I headed back to our bedroom to wake up Chase. He was obviously quite concerned but I told him what was going on and being the amazing husband that he is, he got dressed, gave me a kiss and headed straight to the hospital in the middle of the night. 
He arrived and asked for a pregnancy test and when he received one he headed straight back home. I was just sat up in bed when he arrived, handed it over to me and I headed to the bathroom. Surprisingly it was positive. This is such amazing news for us but what do you guys think? Hi everyone it's Hallie. Today I'm going to be showing you which packs to recommend and why. By the way most reasons are very similar. The first one is the mall. It has super cute items, really good for role plays. Hus has the best decorations for your home. The fancy restaurant has food items that you can't get anywhere else and it's super cute for role plays. The treehouse is an amazing hangout area, I love it. The university is also an amazing hangout area and has super cute items, amazing for role plays. The watermelon wave club is amazing for role plays and it has amazing items. Here we have the winter cabin, yet again an amazing hangout spot and the items are to die for. The chili buns is probably one of my favourite hangout areas and the items are also super cute. Here we have the farmer's market, I think it's such a cosy cute role play area. The hospital is on the pricey side but it's definitely worth it and it's probably one of the best places for role playing. The modern mansion is definitely the best house designer in my opinion, it's just the perfect house. And finally we have the character creator, my favourite pack and my game would not be the same without it. Hi everyone it's Hallie, so today me and Addy went to the mall. So the first thing we did was head to the flower shop because I'm basic and I needed some plants for my house. I paid and then we headed upstairs to eat. The lady took our order and I'm going to be honest I have no clue what this is. Feel free to inform me. <laughs> and because we're good people we put it in the trash. I don't know what happened in that clip but Addy bought some clothes. And then we finished up the day with some frozen yogurt. I'm just going to take this time to say our avatars are like the exact same. Besides the hair. But I never even noticed this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, Addy. My collabs are going to be off for a little bit. But yeah. Hi everyone, it's Hallie. So this is my new house tour. It took me quite a few hours to finish, so if you use it, please give me credits. I love how it turned out. And also, by the way, we have new pets. At the moment, we have one dog and one cat. Some of it is the same as before, such as the kids' rooms. I didn't change those. But yeah, I really like how it turned out. Feel free to let me know what you guys think. This isn't in honour of something specific. It's just everything in general to say how much I love you guys and how grateful I am for you all. I love you. Hi everyone, it's Hallie. So today me and Phoebe went to the stables. Straight away Phoebe chose out this beautiful brown horse who had actually won a few medals. And I chose out a white one. And then it was time to choose all of our equipment. Once that was done we decided to brush the horses so they could get to know us a bit. Phoebe put on the saddle and then I changed my mind about the colour of my equipment because I'm indecisive. <laughs> so once both of our horses were ready we got on our helmets and got dressed. And then we were finally ready to go ride in. Phoebe was definitely better at this. But either way, I had so much fun today. Thanks for hanging out with me, Phoebe. Hi everyone, it's Hallie. So this is a highly requested video and I hope it helps you out. This is a free house design made by me. Honestly, I'm quite impressed with how it turned out. And I'm quite proud of all the items I found because free houses are like really difficult to make because it's really hard to find cute objects but I think I did a pretty good job let me know if there's any you want the location of I'm always happy to help but yeah I hope you guys like it I'm quite proud of it and personally I think it's quite cute let me know what you think I hope you have an amazing day or night